So today I'm going to service my Alpha 159 2 litre diesel. She is just overdue a service. So I'm going to do the oil, oil and filters on it. Uh, so I'm going to do a little how-to video on that. It's pretty simple. The first thing we do, pull that out, take the cap off. The cap is usually very tight. Ah, oh, she's very tight. After much fighting, there we go. She started to use a bit of oil. Don't look too bad. So yeah, it's got to drop the oil now. So I need to jack her up. Um, ignore the uh, space saver that I blow out the other day. So I need to get it done. So I've jacked her up and the sump plug is just over there behind that. I've done a quick inspection and she's had an oil leak. I've known about an oil leak for a while. It's come from the uh, locker cover, I think. It's just a rolling service anyway, isn't it? Topping up the oil. <laughs> she's jacked up. Just make sure you put an axle sand on there somewhere. Just in case the jack fails, you don't want the car crushing you. Wouldn't be a nice experience. Normally these have an under tray on. They're fixed. Places like that all the way around. Mine, um, well, I had to rip it off. Because all the screws had gone knackered. Um, so you have to take that off first. Obviously mine doesn't have that. But well, next job, get a tray, obviously stick it underneath for some plug. And um I hate doing this on the floor. And undo the sump plug. Oh. Came off quite nice. Probably gonna get soaked in oil here. There we go. Just made it. So we're gonna let that drain for a bit. Let's take 10 minutes or so I'd imagine. Um, and then I need to remove the oil filter, which is buried some of it. I'll have to take the wheel off of that, if I remember right. So the oil filter is behind all this uh, it's you can see it there with the uh, the plastic cup um, it's a 32 mil socket and if I remember right it was a bit of a faff to get to I don't know if it was because of my tiny arms but if you can get access to it yeah it was easy just um, I thought getting to it for some reason maybe it was just me so this is how I've done it ratchet with an extension and then there's a knuckle joint and then uh, with a 32 mil onto the oil filter and then just turn it and then she will she will turn and come off obviously i hope i can get that with me oh yeah it's coming with my hand now so <laughs> there we go oh. like that so because I'm an idiot you may have seen that I dropped this in the oil pan with all the crap oil uh, you actually need this so if you do that like I do pull it back out Take the filter out and then replace it with the nice new filter. That way, didn't it? There we go. And then she can go back on. So, oh. right, so the, the filter housing just turns on. So, a mistake I made last time 
I tightened it up, I thought it was tight, topped the oil up, started running it, it was like great, and then I looked down and oil was pissing out. So it does go tight, but you've got to make sure it goes even tighter than tight, because uh, I think the steel's compressed quite a lot on these. So yeah, don't make that, make that mistake I did and lose five litres of oil on the floor. So the oil filter's all tight, so now the oil's finished dripping out, just need to put some plug back in. So these don't need to be too tight because you don't want to cross thread them. So just hand tighten it and then nick it up with the ratchet. Oh. Oh, I wish I could put that in the bloody way. Just there we go, that'll do. So apparently she takes about 4.9 litres of oil. So pretty much gotta empty this full tub into it. I'll keep checking it on the dipstick, but for now I'm just gonna pour a good chunk in. Make sure there's no leaks. Again. So now it's running, keep a track for some leaks. Hopefully there aren't any this time. Oil filter looks dry. And there's nothing coming from the sump plug. So I'm going to leave it for a couple of minutes, let the oil circulate, recheck the oil, and we should be good to go. Obviously, fit the wheel. I left it off to so I check the oil filter. So oil topped up, checked with the dipstick. I just need to put the cap back on and we can start her up. Oh, can't seem to get that on. There we go. So yeah, undone that bolt. That should open and then we can get this free. So yeah, these plugs, they just have a, have a, um, a button either side, just press them and this should pop off, although I can't do it with one hand, so. So time to change the fuel filter. So it's just here, the back of the engine. Um, got to undo this little, this bolt, and I'm hoping we'll be able to take all this off so we can easily access these plugs for the lines. Uh, there's one underneath as well. But it's worth noting, uh, so after you've done the two pipes at the top, you can then pull this up and there's another, it's like a sensor at the bottom. Um, so there's a little tab on the back of it, which you've got to pull up to then pull off. So I'll just grab that to show you. I'm not sure if you can see that there. Uh, just pull that up and it should pop off quite easy. And then we'll have to take that off, this one, and put it on the new filter. Like so. Oh, watch out for the spilt fuel. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> what a waste of fuel, though. Anyway. <laughs> so, that comes off. That will then screw back on. And then we're good to go. Make sure it's nice and tight. Right, so to get this in, I connected the wire to the bottom of it first and then put it in position and they just clip on top. Pretty easy. So now I can just fit the bracket back, get it in position. And then we have to prime the pump, the pump, the filter. So I need to undo that. 
um, prime it, prime the car with the ignition. Um, when the fuel starts coming out of there, close it off, and then we're good to go. Touch wood. Right, so now that's on. Um, make sure that you have put these on properly. I thought I did, and then I just went to check them, and this one popped off completely. So, yeah, just double check them. You don't want the fuel pissing everywhere. Uh, so then I got, I think it was 12 mil, undone, oh sorry, undone this slightly, um, so I'm going to turn the car over until fuel starts spitting out, um, and then that should mean the filter's primed, and then we should be good to go. Sorry, I couldn't get a video of it, but as you can see, it's all wet there from fuel, fuel was pissing out, so... Fuel is all primed. Um, gonna tighten that bolt up and then I'm gonna start her up. Hopefully, she starts. So, just looking for leaks. There's none there. There's none underneath. So, I think we're all good. I have done it on the floor. I do have a ramp, but there's all the crap in the way. So, anyone can do this really with. Any tools, ignore the, ignore the tyre, I had a blowout the other day. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.